In this video, I'm going to show you how to determine if your patient has a true or pseudo frozen shoulder. Hi and welcome back to Physio Tutors. Hoffman et al. from the year 2015 did a study on the amount of active muscle guarding in patients suspected to have frozen shoulder and found that all patients experienced a huge increase in passive abduction while under anesthesia. This means that the loss of range of motion in frozen shoulder can not only be explained by a true capsular contraction alone, but that active stiffness or muscle guarding can play a huge role as well. A great test to determine the presence of true frozen shoulder is the coracoid pain test. It is described to have a sensitivity of 96% and a specificity of 87 to 89% according to Carbone et al. in the year 2010. It is therefore a great test to rule in and rule out true frozen shoulder. Although this is the only study that has validated this test, it seems that this test has a high clinical value, especially to distinguish between real and pseudo frozen shoulders, as well as other shoulder pathologies that can cause a stiff shoulder. To perform this test, manually palpate the IC joint, the anterolateral subacromial area, and the coracoid process with your first digit and record the patient's pain on a VAS scale after every palpation. The test is considered positive for true frozen shoulders when pain on the coracoid region was greater than 30 mm on the VAS scale with respect to the acromioclavicular joint and the anterolateral subacromial area. The clinical reason behind this test is that characteristic findings on MRI for frozen shoulder are a thickening of the coracohumeral ligament, the rotator cuff interval and the coracoid triangle, which are sensitive upon pressure. Alright, this was our video on the coracoid pain test. We hope this video helps you to distinguish between true frozen shoulder patients and patients with active muscle guarding. Please give this video a like before you leave and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and check us out on various social media and on our webpage physiotutors.com. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.